Hello friends, today we are going to do homework assignment 19, page number 228 of class 10th, BBC, topic is tenses. Part A, choose the option that completes the following sentences correctly. First, Samitha is in her car. She is on her way to work. She is driving to work. Second, would you like to have some coffee? No, thanks. I don't drink coffee. Third, I have lived with a friend until I find a flat. Fourth, I was walking home from work when I met my childhood friend Susan. Fifth, I went to the cinema last night, but I haven't enjoyed the film much. Now, part B. Read the following texts. The underlined parts of each text may or may not have an error. Choose the options that best replaces the underlined parts. You may choose no error if no changes required in the underlined parts. First, one day little, Ankita's parents sends her to stay with Aunt Vimla, her father's elder sister. The old lady was a strict disciplinarian. She does not tolerate any mistakes. Ankita remembered the earlier days when she has been reprimanded by her aunt even for the slightest mistake. What will be the answers? First will be, in place of sense, we will write sent. In place of does not tolerate, we will write did not tolerate. And in place of been reprimanded, we will write was reprimanded. Now second, climate change is a topic that fascinates me from my childhood. I am always wanting to discover situations related to environmental issues in the world. This kindle my interest regarding climate changes. Here, fascinate will be replaced by fascinated. I am always wanting, had always wanted. This kindle, this has kindled my interest. Question C. Choose the option that completes the following paragraphs correctly. First, more than 30 years ago, illegal logging dash was made unlawful in Thailand. The problem dash since then has been curtailed since then. However, it dash to this day in a few remote areas with the help of armed gang. However, it continues to this day in a few remote areas with the help of armed gangs. Second, when we yawn, our facial muscles dash and our eyes shut. When we yawn, our facial muscles are tightened and our eyes shut. This dash a pressure on the lacrimal duct. This causes a pressure on the lacrimal duct. It also temporarily reduces the amount of tears being drained. The ND part. In which of these sentences does the underlined phrase indicate that something had been happening for a period of time before something else happened? At last the bus came but I had already taken a taxi. This is the correct solution. Part E. In which of these sentences does the underlined phrase describe an action that was completed before another action in the past? As soon as Sarah arrived home from her office, Paul left for his night shift duty. This one is correct. Then we have part F. In which of these sentences does the underlined phrase Describes a finished time in past, for example, yesterday or 10 minutes ago or in 1963 
or when she was young means past time time which have finished options are i watched the news on television last night i have watched the news on television i had watched the news on television i watched the news on television correct one will be i watched the news on television last night then we have part g in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase talk about a recently completed action tom lost his key tom has been losing his key tom had lost his key tom has lost his key correct one is a part tom lost his keys it talks about a recently completed action part h in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase talk about something that began in the past and still continues kiran was waiting for her mother kiran has been waiting for her mother since morning kiran has waited for her mother for long or kiran waits for her mother every day the correct one will be option b which is kiran has been waiting for her mother since morning then we have part i in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase make an appropriate use of the verb no answer is i have known the smiths since my childhood here the word verb no make the correct use of the verb then we have part j in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase show an action that is continuing at the time of speaking answer is part c please don't disturb me i am working then we have part k in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase gives new information or announces a recent happening first is or i have bruised my knees yesterday i had hurt my right wrist last year i had twisted my ankles i feel i might get hurt one of these days correct answer will be the first one or i have bruised my knees then we have part l in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase show that somebody was in the middle of doing something in the past answer is correct one is krishna played pubg last night which is option b then we have part m in which of the following sentences does the underlined phrase show a verb that is not normally used as an action verb the correct one is we are having a great time friends with this assignment our topic tenses of module 4 is completed to get another topics another succeeding topics which are subject verb agreement reported speech active passive voice subscribe the channel to get the notification thank you